All right, YouTube. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. Um, a while back, a gentleman sent me some scion wood for uh, hardy red nectarine. Um, I believe he sent it from Pennsylvania or some somewhere up uh, up there. And um, when it finally uh, healed, um, I noticed some some leaf curls. So I know I've got a fungal issue on one of my trees, and I want to take care of it. So um, real quick. Little, little math. Um, I think I ended up I ended up with two teaspoons in 26 ounces of water. It is very important to understand that while this is organic, um, copper is also a, an essential, essential element to plant growth, but it's also a micronutrient. So it's not something you want to be really willy nilly about. Um, I wouldn't use it as a preventative, but if you do have evidence uh, or signs of um, a fungal issue on one of your your trees or you know any of your other plants, it's not a bad uh, not a bad option. But you just don't want it to become toxic in the soil. So yeah, uh, this ends up being pretty close to a fifth of a gallon. Uh, so a little bit of math. It says. Uh, a half to two ounces per gallon. A little bit of math I ended up with about two uh, teaspoons. So let's pause this and go outside and get our tree sprayed. Okay. So this here, this is the graft um, that I told you has, looks like some fungal leaf curl. Um, of course, there aren't any leaves on it because it's dormant still, which is when you want to be treating for something like this um, before the buds break. And, well, can't be too long now. Um, probably not the best time to do this when it's wet, but I don't really have a lot of choice. I got up early uh, today, so I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm going to go ahead and do the entire tree, even though... This one branch was the only one that showed any signs. I just don't want it to spread. So, you should probably use a pump sprayer to do something like this, but my pump sprayer is uh, clogged, and I don't feel like I want to buy another one just yet. Hang tight. Oops, the wrong way. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the whole tree just this once hopefully it'll prevent any issues and like I said you don't want to really use this as a preventative but it's already on this tree so I want to uh, make sure that it doesn't spread to any of the other branches use your own discretion that's, that's all I'm saying you don't want it to become toxic in your soil. You kind of want to stay upwind when you're spraying this. I don't know what the uh, long-term effects of having copper fungicide sprayed in your face uh, is. Oh, I hope that doesn't get in there. Ooh. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, so I'm calling that good. Shouldn't have, uh, we'll see what that looks like when it leaves out in the spring. Um, but it looks like it's getting close. I don't know if that'll focus. Hmm. Maybe, no, okay. I'm no super cameraman or anything, but it looks like it's getting ready. Um, ooh, okay. Yeah, sheesh. Okay, well, this is my Santa Rosa plum that I just got in the ground um, a few weeks ago. It was extremely cold, and it's already putting on new growth. Not sure how I feel about that, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a little spritz just in case. I know I said don't use this as a preventative, but... There is a fungus in my yard. I know that it's in these trees, and I don't want it to spread. So, 
And I definitely need to get out here and prune this tree because it looks pretty freaking awful. All right. So that's that. Um, like and subscribe. I mean, if you want to see, you know, I, I'm a normal gardener. Uh, however, I am, I got really lucky, guys. Uh, a lady in the Facebook group posted that she had a quarter acre uh, acre of land that she wanted uh, farmed and, you know, just in, in exchange for some produce. And that's what I was getting ready to do back here in my uh, backyard garden. But it looks like I'm going to actually have a pretty significant uh, piece of land because the half, or the quarter acre that uh, she originally offered me, uh, she said she also has an adjacent quarter acre that uh, uh, I could have access to as well. So um, provided a few other things go my way, uh, I think I'm going to be able to give this market garden thing a real shot. Um, provided I can figure out the restroom situation. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Look at my compost, cooking it away at about 150. That's, look at that. That is nice. Oh, real quick. Well, now I'll save it for another video. All right. We'll see you, YouTube. Take care.